It's a major breakthrough in one of Queensland's longest ever cold cases. Sharon Phillips was 20 when she disappeared in 1986 after her car ran out of petrol in Wakehall late at night. 31 years later, Detective Inspector Damien Hansen has no doubt Raymond Peter Morby Hill, a taxi driver who died 15 years ago, killed Sharon Phillips. If Raymond Peter Mulverhill was alive today, he would be arrested for the murder of Sharon Phillips. The investigation was reopened by police in 2016 after a tip-off. A search of land at Carroll Park followed, but soil taken from two drains failed to find any trace of human remains. Police today ruled out Sharon's father as a person of interest. I can say from the evidence available, there is no evidence at all that would implicate Bob Phillips into, into, with the murder of Sharon. It is still not known whether Mulver Hill had an accomplice. Investigators now want to talk to anyone who lives near Mulver Hill in Russell Drive, Red Bank Plains, at the time Sharon Phillips disappeared. We will continue to investigate the possibility any other person has been involved, any person has assisted him, and we will always continue to search for Sharon's remains. Anyone with information is urged to contact Crime Stoppers. Tiana Barmer, QT News.